In this video, we are going to cover the basics of creating a custom timeline for the NOW robot. Note that for this video, I have connected to a virtual robot, so the NOW movements can be seen on screen. The robot view can be altered much like 3D drafting programs. Hold the right click to rotate, scroll to zoom, or right click and select a view from the list. Once we have added the timeline box, which is found in the templates folder, we can double click to edit it. The first thing we will do is create the initial keyframe. In this case, it will be a standing position. Click on the view, then pose library to display saved poses available. Double click stand and the robot will assume this position. Next, we will right click frame one and store joints in the keyframe, the whole body, or you could simply press F8. Next, we will edit the frames per second of the timeline. In the motion bubble, click the icon in the very top right in the pop-up window, alter the frame rate from 25 to 10, or whatever would make your project easiest. We are now ready to position now and create new keyframes for our desired motions. There are several methods for positioning now. Clicking on a limb in the robot view will display wheels for each joint available in that limb. This is a bit difficult to use, however. Much better is this limb diagram that has been displayed in the bottom right. From here, we can manipulate each joint by using a slide bar. There is still a delay in the motion, so be careful. Using the slide bars, we can create a pose to set as a new keyframe. I'm going to make now wave hello, so I want the next keyframe to have one arm held up. Note that if you wanted symmetrical motion, such as having both arms held high, the mirroring option can be checked. This is handy for many motions involving now's legs. Once now is in position, simply right click the timeline where you want the new keyframe and press F8, or manually add the joints into the keyframe as we did before. The position of the keyframe can easily be edited by dragging it left or right along the timeline. The software automatically interpolates all the frames in between two key points, attempting to create a smooth transition from one to the next. Occasionally you may need to add extra key points manually to ensure the motion does what you wanted. Now we will create another keyframe to make the arm wave. After adding this to the timeline, we can complete the full program through simple copy and paste options. Once the motion is completed, you can view it by pressing the play button in the motion bubble. After watching the motion, you may decide that some key points need modified. To do this, click on the keyframe you want changed. Now we'll assume the saved position. Now you can simply alter his pose, then save the joints to the keyframe as you did before. The saved position is now altered to the new position. Deleting points is as simple as clicking, pressing the delete key, or right clicking and choosing delete from the list. To get back to the overall program diagram, click the root bubble below the timeline editor. This will return you to the overall program and you can upload to the now. In the next video, we'll cover how to add behavior layers and analyze stability of the robot for more complex motions.